Welcome to Pokemon Scarlet. I'm so excited. We're gonna play in English because that's the one I speak best. I do speak a little bit of Spanish, but not enough to not enough to get by. Choose a look. Uh, probably this one. And I'm. Do I want to be Artemis or Emmy? Uh. Let's be Emmy. Oh, I can change myself more? Then we're definitely doing that. No. 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 Uh, cute, but no. Most of these are cute, but I'm trying to figure out the most similar to how I actually... The side braid is the best one so far, but I want to check all of them just in case. Because you never know. There could be one that's sneaky and better. Yeah, side braid. Colors. Do we actually have like an orange? Oh, this is so many options. Okay. No. That's not bad. Actually, that's really not bad. That's not atrocious either, but I think the other one's better. I like that too. Yeah, I think this one's best. This actually looks like my hairstyle, I'm so excited. <gasps> oh, we're doing this all day. This is just gonna be the Emmy Makes Herself episode. Okay, what's the difference between these two? Like, three degrees, okay. Ah, slightly wider. That tracks. What color are my eyes? They're like a green-gray? Y'all got like a green-gray? No, no. Too bright. No, 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 no. No, 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 not awful, no, 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 eh, that's not awful either. Oh, for if you want to be snazzy. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one, it's closest. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of eyelashes, but that's not gonna stop me. Sure, go with that. I can pick my eyelash color too? Okay, well. Now we need to have some serious things. No, let's be slightly more realistic with eyelashes.
Yeah, probably that. See, the problem is <clears throat> they end up looking more like makeup than eyelashes, which might be intentional. I genuinely don't know. And so my brain's going, just make it makeup, but I don't really do, I don't really wear makeup that much. But you know what? Apparently we're going to now. Because I can. I don't really have much in the way of eyebrows. It's more so that they are just hard to see, but... Because they're almost the same color as my skin, which makes them not stand out very well. Yeah, probably like that. Okay. Okay. I did not realize there was going to be this much customization. Kitty cat. I did not realize there was going to be this much customization of the character. This is new. That's also kitty cat. How's this different from the other kitty cat? Or nine and four. Four. Ah, slight height difference. Okay, so four, nine, and fourteen was it? Yeah. That'll work. I don't know. I wasn't expecting there to be character creation. I'm so excited. <laughs> but also, I don't know what to do because of it. Yeah, that's probably about right. No. No. I can have... Hold on. I always forget which side of my face that little mark is on. This one. Is there any that is, like, slightly lower? No, not centered. No? Okay. Then that'll do. Freckles 1, Freckles 2, Freckles 3. My freckles mostly avoid my nose, but not entirely. Let's just put freckles the whole way, it's fine. This is exciting. I have spent almost 10 minutes just making me, which never happens in Pokemon. Let's go though. I'm so excited. This is great. Oh, Orange Academy. Like the fruit. Okay. Yep, that's me. Perfect. This is... I'm... I, I'm... I'm stoked. Oh, that kind of looks like the Basilica. Taking lessons from tradition, going stronger and greater. Alright. There sure is stuff happening. Ooh! Talonflame and Karkol and Gabite and Hariyama and I missed who the last one was. It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokémon. I think that's what it said. I forgot to read. I was too busy getting excited. Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. Paldez is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is, of course, it is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Apparently this is the voice I'm going with, just slightly different than my normal voice. <gasps> What is that besides adorable? Hello, little squeaky thing. There's Goodbye again, and Pikachu, and Hopip. Pokemon can be found- Oh, and some Swablu up in the sky. <coughs> Pokemon can be found living all over. In the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. Jigglypuff, and Ampharos, and Rufflet. 
We humans coexist with Pokémon, as well as bo uh, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn ever more about these precious partners. Hey, it's Raichu and Alolan Raichu! Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. Oh, that's a spooky Tauros! And Muk! Who's spooky Tauros? And as Pokémon trainers, they have their Pokémon do battle, growing alongside them. Is there a new, like, Dark-type Tauros? Or is it just a shiny Tauros? I don't know what shiny Tauros looks like. Well, our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. Oh! Nice, I like all of these Pokémon. Oh, I forgot to read that one. We, the faculty and staff in Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. And that Magnemite looks slightly off-color from normal, but I don't know... Oh. Pokemon Scarlet! I want to watch this cute little video, but I also don't want to get spoilers. But I don't know if this is plot. Alright. So we saw birds and we saw spooky Tauros. Eevee and some flora. Flamingos. That's new. There's never been a Flamingo Pokemon before that I can think of. That looked like Staravia, but it might not have been. We flew past pretty quick. Look, I may be a Pokemon expert, but not not when they're on the screen for two. Parrots, but not Chatot. Nice, we deserve more pirate Pokemon. <clears throat> I have no idea what my team's gonna look like. I think this is the Pokemon game I have done the best at avoiding information for. Like, I know a little bit. I've seen a couple of friends. I know who the starters are, but not who they evolve into. <clears throat> I genuinely don't know what knowledge was revealed before release. But I know we're in fake Spain. Aw, oh, Applin! I had one of those in, uh, Galar. My buddy Apple Juice. Champion of apples. Grab your stuff. Your bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. I can move the camera around some in the buildings, just a little bit. Oh, that's my adventure guide. I was trying to check the trash can, though. Oh, nothing in the trash can. It's your own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon skippers. Yeah, there's a Drifloon and a Hatram and a Applin. It's a map of the Paldea region. This house would be down in the lower part. Oh! So it looks like we have a... Snow up in the Basque region. It's a, Ninten it's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Today on Ciudad Adventures. <laughs> Ciudad Adventures. Perfect. Ciudad. Uh, we'll see Miss Goza, a city that's home to a well known academy. Ciudad Adventures. Ciudad City Adventures. Okay. That's clever. Oops, better get going. And here's a Toodle and a Pikachu, I think. And Hopip, and I just, I really love Pokemon. I'm just ever, oh, it's a Squavit and a Krogunk and some Flora. I love Pokemon so much. I'm so excited by literally everything happening here. The vibes of this game are the best from, I think, a new Pokemon game in a long time, which is saying a lot because I love it. Uh, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, this Pokemon game sucks. I literally love all of them. I can't. Even, even my least favorite one. It's not that I don't like them. It's just that it's my least favorite one. Oh. <gasps> A substitute plush! I'm too short. Dang it. Hi, Squavit. What you thinking? Squavit thoughts? That's fair. 
I'm apparently going to talk to Squava the same way I talk to my cat in real life. Come on down to every which way. That's a good pun. I can't believe nobody in real life has used that. Like, I, there should be a restaurant called that in real life. Every kind of sandwich, any way you want. Our subs are handmade by pros and perfect for picnics. It's Squavit's bed. There are drool stains on it. This room is just used for storage. You don't need to go in there. I have no idea what my team's going to look like. I think I'm walking into a table, though. The camera is not quite agreeing with me. We aren't friends yet. We'll figure it out. Hi, Mom. Good morning, Emmy. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Ding dong! Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Emmy, get the door, would you? This door? I'm gonna save. Save my adventure so far. Perfect. I don't think I want autosave on for the mom for the moment. I'm gonna turn it back on, but at least for now, I would rather have no autosave so that I don't accidentally, in case footage gets messed up early on, I don't wanna have to restart because it autosaved after breaking. Anyway, I got the door. Oh, I got the wrong door. I got the vegetable garden. <laughs> Oh, is there another door over here that I just, like, completely didn't notice? Absolutely, yes, there is. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Miss Emmy, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. You are Professor Clavel. Something like that. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. Okay, well... The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Emmy, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. I already tried to put those on, Mom. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa this way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Are we from Galar? Because we got a Squavit and I got a bunch of Galar Pokemon stickers. And Mom says cuppa. Maybe not. Yes. I'm so cute. Look at my little hat. I already know how to save. I don't know. I can, I can open my bag now? Oh yeah, I just picked it up. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> All my pockets are empty. Wait, do I have key items? I didn't look. I have the adventure guide, okay. We should save. We don't need to save this often. I'm just, I turned auto save off and now I'm panicking about it. I don't need to save double. Mom. Mom, I'm excited for to go on my adventure. Let me leave. Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our stored academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I'd entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Miss Emmy. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? 
Oh, we should, but also this is a long episode. I mean, it's good to start the episode long, but I spent so long making me that now the episode's long, even though we didn't do very much of story yet. But, uh, bye-bye. I'll see you again real soon. I love Pokemon. <laughs>